Okay, hello again from Monarch Charters. This is the 2007 Carson Titan toy hauler. Uh, this is the interior walk around. Uh, show you the, all the features of the interior of the RV and kind of where everything is so you know how things function and work. I'll start up here in the front of the room uh, where the kitchen is. Um, of course, here's your burners, your fryers. Uh, just like any other gas stove, you will have to light it. There are matches and a lighter provided up here. So you got these things up here, lighter matches, other supplies. There's a few bowls, a few plates, cups, paper towels, dishwashing things, a few garbage bags. So we try to give you some of the essentials. Um, that's up there. Got that figured out. Make sure to always turn that off when you're done, of course. Uh, here we have uh, some main features here. Obviously stereo. Does play CDs, does have a hookup for an aux unit. Um, the tuner, the radio, the antenna on here doesn't seem to be working, so if you want some music, bring you either an aux cord in your phone or some CDs, uh, but that does come with it. Right up here, here's the monitor system, so this is important. Um, you want to check things, the battery's not, not turned on right now, but you basically hold this over, and it'll show you when these tanks are full. Um, green is good. Over here, your fresh water, you want the fresh water to be full, obviously. If it runs down, it'll go down here. Uh, holding tank one is the black water, holding tank two is the gray water. So, see, we'll keep an eye on those as those get full, filled up. Um, oh, over here, the pump. If you want to use the water and you're just going off the tank, turn the pump on. Now, it'll make some noise so you'll know it's working. It'll turn on, then it'll shut off once the pressure's built up. Um, once you're done using water, turn it back off. Otherwise, it just keeps running and cycling and uh, drain your batteries down that way. Um, hot water heater here. Just turn this on. This will turn red uh, so that uh, you know water's, the hot water heater is working. Turn it back off when you're done using water. Give yourself a few minutes heads up if you want to take a hot shower. Uh, paper towel rack, obviously. Lights. Flip them on. The switch just right here. Um, right up under here, we actually have a microwave. Now this does not run off the generator, so you have to be hooked up to actual uh, power cord somewhere. If you had an RV park or something, that'll work for you. Uh, sink, pretty standard. Again, hot, cold. Uh, we just try to keep that wipe down for you nice and clean there still, it looks like. Um, some storage under here. We got your basic essentials. Pots, pans, those things are provided. You don't have to bring your own. A few cleaning supplies, make some messes. We just like to clean them up when you're out there. I'm sure you like to do the same. Close that thing. Um, under here, here's some storage. This is kind of a unique one. This storage actually goes out to the outside as well. So if you have something you want to access from the outside, there's a key on the outside where you can get into this storage facility. Um, these are tables. The legs for the table. I'll pull these out and show you how this works. So again, you just take the table legs out. I'm not gonna do it all for you, but uh, table legs go there, one in each hole right here. The table itself is hidden under the the bench seating or the bed. So pull that off, put that on both legs. You got a table. You got two of them. One, two right here, two right there. Other table topper right there. So that's, that's how that works. Okay, uh, here's some drawers. To get these drawers open, lift up. So lift up and then pull out, okay? Some of these are empty, some have a little few supplies in them, some knives, things like that. Just storage under there. Uh, and here's your fridge, obviously. You know, I got these things locked right now. i get them open. Here's your fridge. And of course, here's the freezer. Now this thing can run on either propane gas, you have propane tanks, or off of electricity. So again, if you're at an RV park, it'll just default to run off electricity. If you don't have electricity and you got enough battery juice or generators, it'll run off of the propane and the battery. So you just turn that on, push this button, 
Yeah, I don't have anything turned on right now, so it won't come on. You turn this on, it'll default to just auto mode. If you want to change it to one or the other, you push this mode until it selects the proper AC or gas. And of course, you can make your selection here on the cold level there. Um, here we have a storage closet. I've got your, uh, your bedding in here. We've got pillows, four pillows. Uh, blankets for each bed um, So you're covered there if you want to use our bedding if you want to bring your own of course you can storage thing under the bottom there Here's the bathroom push the button there and then open Shower pretty standard it's a shower Hot cold your toilet here's a toilet um, same same area obviously uh, to there's a couple tricks here to put a let put water in the toilet. You just hold it down a little part ways, and to flush it all the way, put it all the way down to the ground. And that's the toilet. Uh, let's see what else you'd need to know. Um, here's a little table that flips up if you want to use that. Uh, we do have um, carbon monoxide tester down here. Two of them actually. This is your heater thermostat if you're camping someplace cold. That's your heater thermostat. Uh, you'll turn it on up here and then set it down here. So this is the on. Flip it over. Like so. Pull it this way to turn it off and select your temperature down here. Uh, air conditioner. Air conditioner only works if you're plugged into uh, an RV site someplace. Or home or whatever so you turn this to cool and AC will blow AC blows from up here but the thermostat for that is there these are your lights uh, this is the front door outside uh, this should be the inside and this should be the backlight so those are three lights you can control those also up here um, I'll show you how one of these beds works again this is one of the side beds they both function the same. There's hooks on either side. Pull those up. Before I did this, I should have pulled these legs out. So I have all four legs pulled out, which will make it into a bed. I'll do the bed first. That pops down, you got your bed. Again, there's a, this is a twin size bed, there's sheets provided for that. You want to make this thing into a, just a bench, just some place to sit. Pull it there. You got to kick these legs to the side. Again, one on each side. That folds down. You got a nice sitting area. This one works the same way. I won't do the same. I want to save you time. Um, I'll leave that down for now. Um, actually, let's put it up. I'll show you how to put it up. Uh, put it up again. Just pull this seat back down. So pull the mat out there. You'll grab onto the bottom of this. Lift up. And apply these hooks over here on the side. So there the hooks are in. And then of course this thing goes down. Now these go different directions, so don't don't slam these too far. These ones go to the side. These ones go up and down. Uh, the rear bed, and I got the back door open here. Obviously, it's a nice day in Arizona. Um, the rear bed pulls down and has a ladder. So I'll show you how that works. Okay, back here. You got to do the back one first. You pull on the back handles, two handles. My, my camera's going to go a little scrum. I got to pull these two hands here. Okay. 
pulled in on that. I gotta use a little bit of force to get that down. So now I got kind of this weird angled bed. Another handle here. Pull down on that. And there, our bed's lowered. Um, again, I do provide sheets and bedding for these, so it's already on there. There's a ladder up here. Pull the ladder off. Make sure to not put it onto the bedding. It'll tear the bedding, obviously. Okay, so make sure those things hook on there. Get your ladder set. Make sure it's sturdy. Climb on up. Uh, you can put that at either end if you want. Uh, if your trailer is tilted one way or the other, that might be nice to switch it around so you can switch those around. That's the bed. You have an, event, uh, an uh, air vent and an emergency escape hatch should you need to use it. Hopefully not. Uh, windows on either side, those do open. That's the bed. Uh, to put it up, I'll try to put this up real quick. It's just the reverse of the way it went down. So again, take the ladder. Set it right up on top there. And it won't fall off. Again. So now the front part goes first. So we're getting reverse order. Push that up all the way. And you can tell that this has to go first because it sets up here. Has to go back and then on top. And this back part, again, takes some force, but either handle here. And raise that up. So there, now you're ready to travel, put stuff in here, whatever. Uh, that should be it for the interior. Um, the only other thing I want to show you is the um, awning. If you want to use the awning, I'll show you the awning in another video. Uh, but again, thanks for thanks for renting from Monarch Charters.